What up, bitches? It's the Misanthropic One, a.k.a. He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash, well, you already know I, I fucked up my own shit. Um, yeah, um, figured I would do this in a live format uh, just for a change of pace. Uh, just want to talk about um, Master Killer's latest album titled Loyalty is Royalty. <laughs> O'Shea, what up, dude? Thank you, man. Yeah, you don't have to do that shit. And in Polish, what do you what what is the what's the monetary unit there? I, I'm I'm kind of ignorant to that shit. But thank you anyway. As soon as he gets on, shout out to O'Shea. Yo, guys, you gotta fucking get on my brother's um vlogcast. Those are very controversial, hard hitting shits. He knows I love him. I agree with, with a lot of the shit on there. Um, shout out to O'Shea. O'Shea Duke Jackson is his one channel, and he has the O'Shea Vlogcast channel. Check that shit out, okay? Um, but yeah, look. Check this out. Master Killer's latest album, Loyalty is Royalty. Check this bitch out. What's up, M. Uh, Kurosawa? What's going on? Um... Y'all know who Master Killer is, a uh, legendary rapper in um, the legendary group, Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, what's up, Serbian? <laughs> We're talking about Master Killer's latest album, all right, from the Wu-Tang Clan. And uh, he dropped an album called Loyalty is Royalty. What's up, Job Bless? And um, I just want to go into it. You know how I do. Death Maze King, what's up, dude? Get at me. We got to talk. All right. So here's the artwork. Looks real royal. Big Toe, I'm getting to that. <laughs> Looks, it, 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 the, the, the um, artwork fits the title. Look at it. It's gold. And um, now here's the, the back of it. Track listing, you got 16 tracks, minus the intro and outro, 14, uh, and, well, the skit he's basically rapping on. Um, so about 16 tracks all together. Shout out to Nature Sounds, by the way. Um, let's go inside here. There is the CD. Take off the CD. And you got somewhat of what looks like a Wu-Tang chess board, which is cool because you got a um, chess piece right there, a Master Killer chess piece on the actual CD, all right? <clears throat> now, let's jump into the producers on this bitch, all right? You have Ming Husui Lin, who does the, the composing of the intro and outro, real classical shit. Neo Spades, yeah, that's my point. I just wanted to do just a straight, raw, goddamn review, okay? Um, production on here, you got the legendary P.F. Cutting, um, who's on here a couple times, about three times. Um, you got Ninth Wonder, who's on here three times as well. Dame Grease, RZA. Who unfortunately, well, I get into that. You got True Master, who's another one who, who fucks with uh, the Wu Tang heavy. Um, DJ Baby Snakes, Christopher Blockade Newbie, Chainsaw, Master Killer himself, Cruz, and um, Ill Mind. The beats on here were pretty, were really good, um, but I'm gonna get to. Um, Get to some of the shit. Shout out to the donators. Thanks for supporting. I will when I can. God bless. It's not. It's not a big deal, man. It just. It. It just is. You know what I mean. You do what you can. If not, it's. It's whatever. You know. I'm not. I'm not asking for for anything. Um, features on this bitch. Um, you got Young Duras, Capadonna, uh, A B and J R. I believe 
the the title track is called loyalty is royalty that's the title track uh raf rapping is fundamental now i'm assuming that's the group um the the early 90s group that easy mo b was um associated with um but it doesn't say featuring raf so i got kind of got thrown by that you got method man red man um boy backs <laughs> That's the guy's name. I'm not making that shit up. Um, Mo Rock, RZA, Sean Price, rest in peace. You got Inspector Deck, Jizza, Prodigy, King Crooked. <laughs> Better known as Crooked, I hate calling him King Crooked. Um, Chanel Sosa, uh, Ross Stax, and Nick Guns. So... Um, that's my thing with Master Killer's albums. That he always got a lot of features on them. Uh, so, you know how I feel about that shit. Um, these features, though, they, they pretty much do their thing. I'm just not crazy about a shitload of them, all right? Um, huh. Hold on a minute. Um, let me block this motherfucker. All right, you can't go. You can't go wrong with the rule. I can't wait for you God to come out with something. You God, I don't know what's going on with him. I know he has an issue. You know he's going through it with um with the Wu Tang because he's suing for royalties. Um. Because I I forget which album it was. He felt that he wasn't uh, paid what he should have been paid. And um, that's why he wasn't on the um, the Saga Continues. He has an issue with them illegally. All right. Um, so let's jump into this shit. His son came out with an album. I got to hear that shit. Um, let's just jump into the meat and potatoes of this shit. Look, um... Master Killer himself, love him. <laughs> Very funny, Nightblade. Whoa, Vicky is better than Tupac. <laughs> so, um, what I like about this album is loyalty is royalty. Oh, 2D reviews, you talking to this dude? Um, yeah, this album is, is, it starts off real strong. Return of the Master Kill, um, great drums that bring you in um loyalty is royalty the title track i i really i i don't know how i feel about that it, it's basically that trick that song is basically like a, a song to chicks so i don't know how how i feel about that because it's like you know master killer and he he's not really known for so much of that shit and uh, where's the little Pete feature? Rest in peace, little Pete, man. <laughs> but um, it was produced by Ninth Wonder, which was a saving grace. But, I, you know, I, I just don't know how I feel about that shit. Um, yeah, what's up, Go Rag? Nice to see you, man. And by the way, that White Lord dude just came in and I just blocked his ass, um, Go Rag. Um, one it, where it really picked up. For me, what, besides the um, second track was track four, Therapy, featuring Method Man and Red Man. I mean, them two, I mean, it's just, they're the ones that are really pushing Wu right now. Um, they're saying Red Man is, a, um, is an official member now. Um, he went on Angie Martinez, I believe, and said that shit. Someone sent me a message or some shit like that. Um, I gotta go listen to it myself, but, um, yo, them two going in with Master Killer on that PF cutting track is fucking phenomenal. Um, let me jump to Wise Words by The RZA. Um, yeah, true, Don Redman may as well be a member, you're right. Um, Wise Words by The RZA featuring RZA. I mean, <laughs> Riz is just on it, and he produced the shit. 
Riz is just on there talking, you know. Um, honestly, you know, Rizza at this point, I've said this before, I don't even think he really wants to do this type of music anymore because he's making millions doing scores and uh, directing movies and, and, and doing, you know, having his influence on that world. So, exactly, Big Toe, he's just in that one skit. So it's like, you know, it's kind of, at this point, it, 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 it's kind of like pointless to have him. In. I mean, I know he's responsible for their um, coming up and he was the one who crafted that sound that everyone loved, but he, he ain't trying to do that shit because it, it really wouldn't be nothing for him to, 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 you know, create some shit for Master Killer for all these guys and still do his thing on the side. I mean, he's, I don't know, man. That, that's just how I feel personally as a fucking fan, you know? Um, let me jump to uh, boo, 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 track eight, which is a skit produced by True Master. Love True Master. He should take over and do a lot of the beats. Someone was saying fucking BP from um, that did William Cooper shit should, should do a lot of uh, Wu-Tang beats, which he should. I mean, his beats are fucking crazy. Same with True Master. I mean, Mathematics himself. They got... He, Wu-Tang has a whole crew at their disposal, you know, that can mimic that sound that they need. Um, the skit, it, it kind of bothers me. Yeah, a true teller. Shout out to True Master. True Master is a god, exactly. Um, he produced that skit, but it kind of bothers me because the skit gets cut off at the end um, wh while he's kind of rapping. Uh, Big Toe, Fourth Disciple is another one that's really dope. Um... Track 9, Down With Me, featuring Sean Price, produced by Ninth Wonder. Fucking great, man. It's great to hear some of these verses that you haven't heard from Sean Price. Um, still, even as a dead man, still wowing me, dude. Rest in peace to Sean fucking Price. That Imperious Rex album, fucking one of the best uh, posthumous albums I've ever heard in my fucking life, all right? That Negro still got it, man. I don't care what anybody says. Um... Tiger and the Mantis, inspected, uh, featuring Inspected Deck and Jizza, fucking great. Um, Real People, featuring Prodigy and King Crooked again. Rest in peace. No, <laughs> go rag. Don't be funny. Sean Price ain't no uh, dance hall artist. Stop it. <laughs> um, Real People featuring Prodigy and King Crooked, aka Crooked Eye. Yeah, Mantis is spelled wrong. Yeah, unless he did it on purpose. Yeah, go, go, Rag. You think of the Sean, uh, Sean Paul, Sean Price from Helter Skelter? Come on, stop fucking around. <laughs> I know, I know you know better than that, dude. Um, yeah, uh, great to hear. Prodigy, Prodigy came with a with a ill verse. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Uh, in fact, his birthday just passed. Uh, what was it? Last week, maybe. I want to say last week or maybe a week and a half ago. Um, rest in peace, Prodigy. Yeah, November 2nd. Thank you, Gorag. Yep. Um, okay, uh, Big Toe. I'm getting to, <laughs> I'm getting to this track. I, you know I had to go in on this. Um, calculated featuring uh, R.A. Stacks and Nick Guns. Let me tell you something. I, I think this is one of the, uh, this is one of the tracks that kind of, turn me off from this fucking album. I gotta be honest. Um, this track did not fit at all on this album. It, it, the beat wasn't bad. I, I'll be honest. It wasn't bad, but it just did not fit on this fucking album. And I don't know who that rapper is. I don't know if it's R.A. Stacks and Nick Guns doing a really, really bad um, um, Jim Jones rendition. I, I, I was just like, nah. I, I can't fuck with that, man. I try to, you know, I try to keep an open mind with this shit, but, but whoever that nigga is, man, nah, I, I'm sorry. That calculated shit did not fit on this album whatsoever. Um, tracks 14 and 15, Noodles, part one and part two. Um, I'm actually drawing a blank. Um, I believe that that's a storytelling rhyme about um, him holding up a... Um, they're trying to hold the place up. Correct me if I'm wrong. Big Toe, 
What is that one about? Because I know I listened to that like a few days ago and now I'm just drawing a blank. But I know I did like the track. But um, um, track 16 is the outro. It kind of ends how it began. Um, classically, very simple, drawing you out. Um, yeah. So, yo, no, everyone's silent as fuck. What the fuck? Now no one want to say anything. Big Toe, where you at, dude? But um, shout out to Ill Mind and Master Killer for producing part one and part two of Noodles. I, I really did enjoy that track. Alchemist and DJ Premier would be crazy with Wu and Redman on their tracks. Yeah, uh, they never really fuck with with um with the Wu for some reason. Uh, they, they never made that um what, how, how you say it. Never made collaborations. You know what I mean? And it's 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 kind of sad that they haven't. Those guys, um, I think they would make monster ass tracks. But um. My rating of this album, I would give it a six to seven. I think that it was it was all right. It had its moments. There was some where I was just like, ah, whatever. Who gives a shit? Um, but overall, it's pretty good. The unknown, the tracks with the unknowns, to me, just feel feel like uh, filler and shit. Um, but yeah, true true teller. Right? Come on, man. What do you got for me? What question? <laughs> top five woo members fuck me don't why 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 are you doing this dude why now <laughs> you're gonna put me on the fucking spot why now dude um i might i might have to do a separate video for that, that you could hold me on same thing with the top with, with my top 10 um uh superheroes Death Maze, you got Ghostface at number one. I, I can see that because it, him and Raekwon's consistency over the last couple years, I mean, fucking insane. Uh, Method Man, uh, you got as number one Go Rag. Alright, um, I just, what do you think? Um, oh, you got him as number two. Okay, um, what do you think? You like the, the live... Um, live feel of uh these reviews because i'll i'll do it more if you guys like the live shit um you know i i think that it kind of goes longer but thank you um thank you 2d reviews it kind of goes longer but i get to interact with you guys straight up so i guess that's a good thing <laughs> thanks true teller you uh uh you enjoy the live shit, Gold Rag? Yeah, True Teller. I mean, just just based on your decision alone, I, I guess I continue to do that shit. Same with Gold Rag as well. Um, but yeah, listen, I'll continue doing it. Um, yeah, True Teller. I think I'll come back and do... Um, I'm going to do uh, uh, Rock. What up, uh... A tur Call of Duty, COD. What's up, man? Um, I think I might do Rocks, uh, Rockness AP. Live shit, live stream of missing Tropic One taking the shit. <laughs> Come on, dude. What's up, True Teller? I want to shut this one down. What's up? What's your request? All right, all right, go rag. Um, stay tuned because I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna do the uh, rock album, uh, rockness, rock from Helter Skelter. <laughs> Who's better, Rakim or KRS One? Uh, what's up, Mike Sears? I know. Hey, Mike Sears, you, you, you're you going to want to come back. Um, Rakim or KRS-One, me personally, I've done my top five before. Um, I put KRS-One uh, as my personal favorite rapper, um, personally. But if you're going to go uh, 
being technical and be able to bend words and all that shit. I guess you could put Rakim. You could you could make a fair argument for Rakim. But me personally, uh, Mike, I'm going to do uh, Rockness next. So you, you just stay tuned, all right? Um, if you want to go technicality and all that bullshit, yeah, you, you, uh, you could say Rakim. George, I'm in the middle of watching Punisher. You see I got my shit on. Um, I'm up to episode, I just finished episode six. After I do the, these reviews, I'm going to go back and watch some more. And I got to do Gotham as well. All right. <laughs> I know you're biased. Go Rag, there you go. See, Go Rag got my top five down right there. Um, But yo, I'm about to go. Stay tuned. I'm going to be back. I'm going to do um, Rock's album. But yeah, everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Support dope shit. And that's it. Peace, bitches.